Good morning, today I'm going to show you how to make charts and graphs in Google Sheets. So I start by clicking New, Google Sheet. Okay, once you have your spreadsheet open, you can then begin to put in your data. Once your data is typed in, you may need to change the size of some of your columns. I usually move my mouse till I have that double arrow with the line, and then you can just double click on the column to make it whatever size. You can also drag it if you'd like to change your size that way. So now I've got my data all resized the way I would want it. To add a chart or a graph, the first thing I'm going to do is go to insert and chart. Now Google will put in whatever kind of chart it thinks that you want. So for me, it gave a column chart, which looks good. It can also do line charts. It can do smooth lines. You can have a combo chart. So there's all different types of charts that you can use in Google Sheets. The next thing you're going to want to do is change the look of your chart. So you're gonna to go to customize, your chart style. You can change your background. You can change your font. You can change your chart borders. You can change your axes titles. This is an important one. So for my chart title, I wanna put Price First Edition Books Sold For. For my horizontal axis title, that would be if I wanted a title down here, this is where I have the titles of books. I can also add a vertical axis for price sold for. Okay, and these are the most recent sellings of these books. Now I could also go to my series and change this in any way I want. So if I wanted to change the color of my bars, I could change that to a darker blue. I could change my line colors if I wanted to. The lines around my bars can also be changed. So all of those things are just how it looks that you can change if you'd like to. If I want to format a data point, this is how to format a data point. So I could go ahead and change the color of a bar by double clicking on it over here. So again, I double clicked on a bar and I can change the colors of individual bars that way. So anything you want to do visually, you can pretty much do with those bars. Horizontal axis, we already adjusted. Vertical axis, if we wanted to change that. I can also change the slant of the labels if I need it to show a little bit more. So I could do 30, for 30 degrees, 60 degrees shows less. So I'm gonna actually do 30 degrees so you can see that a little bit more. And then the last thing you can change is your grid lines. You can add more grid lines. So minor grid lines adds the smaller bars here. Major ticks, the ticks are the ones up the vertical grid line and the minor ticks are also along the vertical axis. So that pretty much covers how to change colors and fonts and all those fun things in your chart. After you've typed all your titles, if you want to change any other titles, you can simply double click them and change whatever you want. And once your chart is done, you can then resize it just like you would resize any other image by just clicking and dragging the corners. You can also click the three dots and download your chart as an image. You can also just copy the chart and then paste it wherever you want. If you're ever really stuck on being able to copy and paste, one trick is to take a screenshot of it and then paste in your screenshot. But usually copying and pasting will work. Thank you. I hope this helps.